So a guy from our SMP server built this fully automatic chicken farm which has such a simplistic design I thought I'd share it with you guys in case you wanted to build it for yourselves. I mean, does it force innocent virtual mother chickens to swim against a powerful current while being swashed up against other virtual mother chickens all the time? Any eggs that they lay will be immediately swept away by a strong current into a machine which collects the eggs and then violently catapults them against a wall to, once in a while, allow a baby t chicken to escape the shell only to realize there is barely enough room to escape liquid magma constantly above its head but only until it grows up when it's finally tall enough and its remains are again collected by a machine to be automatically stored. Yes. Yes it does. But also, infinite Minecraft food. The design is made up of three separate rooms. One which has the adult chickens and the water which pushes the eggs into the hopper. The walls that you can see on the screen here will prevent adult chickens from falling into the hopper collection area and will only allow the eggs to pass through. The hopper leads onto a dispenser which is constantly activated by a redstone clock. The dispenser throws the eggs into the next room where they spawn baby chickens. The baby chickens can fit in a one slab space, therefore they will survive until they are grown. This means they are guaranteed to give us the item drops. Another dispenser in the room occasionally dispenses lava. Once the chickens grow up, well, you know what happens. Another hopper will then collect these items and store them for us. If you decide to build this chicken farm, then remember to build it close to an area where you will be spending a lot of time, like your item storage area or your Minecraft house. The farm of course only produces when the chunk is loaded. That's it. You're done. The great thing about this farm is how simple it is, hence you can build it very early in your survival world or server. But it gets better. You don't have to stop there. Since chickens can drop chicken and feathers, you can also attach a sorting system with one chest for chicken and one chest for feathers. You might also want to use some of the eggs to craft things like cake, so here's a design which sends half the eggs to la the lava room and the other half to a chest to then be used for crafting. If you're dissatisfied with the speed of your farm, you can increase the number of adult chicken rooms to increase the egg drop rate. Something to note if you do this is that because of entity cramming, the system that will damage entities when there are too many on a single block, there is a limit to how many baby chickens can be in a single lava room. If you want to expand the farm, it would probably be a good idea to build more lava rooms as well. Anyway, I'll leave you to being creative about your additions to the farm. If you would like a block-by-block -block tutorial on how to build this farm, there will be a link to that as well. Here's a link to our survival series in which we use this farm, which is definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.